recently I did a video on removing lines from a uh, data file. Frazier here was the one that asked me the original question and if you saw the video uh, I did it in a pretty simple way and as normally as I always tell you there's more than one way to do stuff. Lots of times I'm showing you how to do stuff it may not necessarily be the simplest or the best way but it's just one way of doing it. Uh, but he brought up a problem that you have and uh, I tried to make an example of this. I've created a file called db.csv uh, and I have four entries in here. Now, if you remember, I told you to put a uh, individual ID numbers for each item, uh, as you can see here in the first column uh, for, and bleh, excuse me, and uh, each user also in this case has, we'll say this fourth column is their employee number. Now you'll notice that employee James here, his employee ID is the same as John's uh, ID here. Uh, so if I want to remove John based on his uh, item ID, it will also remove James because of his employee ID in the way that I showed you last time. Now there's two ways to fix this simplest uh, way probably would be instead of before where we grep V for reverse grep and pasting that number which would output this which remove both users what we can do is we can use this little uh, symbol here it's called the carrot it's over the six there and I'll hit enter now and you'll see it did not remove James and the reason for that is this little character is telling us to only remove lines that begin with this number. So even though that number exists in this line, that would prevent that from removing it. Now, another option uh, would be that while you're creating the database, instead of just having a number there, oh, not cat, um, instead of just having a number there, you can have something like ID at the beginning of each one. And that way, you can use the way I showed you last time and instead of just doing a number it's the ID and then the number and that shouldn't really appear anywhere else in the uh, in the line so instead of doing it like so I would do it like this with ID and you get the same result that would be something you'd have to do at the beginning it's a good thing to do that and then you can also just to be sure add that little carrot symbol there and and do it that way. So that is a way to get around that problem. Another problem he brought up was if the person removing the item just puts something like one, it will remove every line that has the number one in it. And my best response to that is don't let the user type in the number like that or make them confirm when they're removing stuff. So instead of just removing it, it does it brings up a message saying, are you sure you want to remove this line? And then the next line, are you sure you want to remove this line and have it go through line by line? Um, another way, as I was saying, don't let them even be able to type in the number, make them choose it from a list. Uh, and those are two things I'll show in a future video. They're a little more uh, advanced steps. Now, once again, the way I'm showing you to do this may not be the best way to do this. And as I mentioned in, the previous video you can't just uh, grep out this line like this because that doesn't change our a database file the way I was doing it was taking that putting it in a temp file and then running another command to put it back so we copy over that temp file Ooh, that's not what I want uh, CSV to DB dot CSV so basically we are taking and this is longer than it has to be. We don't have to cat and grep. But once again, I'm just showing you one way of doing this. We're taking the output of this file, removing any line that can that contains this ID number. We put it into this temp folder here, or temp file here, and then we copy over the temp file uh, with we copy over the original file with the temp file. So we do that. Now if I cat out the database file, you'll see that, that line has been removed. Um, once again, this is not the most efficient way to do this. 
if you have lots of people accessing the database at the, at the same time, doing it this way will cause problems because uh, if two people try to write to the file at the same time, one person's not going to be able to do that. So this is good if there's just, you know, a handful of people and the chances of them writing to the file at the same exact time, you know, uh, are is limited. Uh, really, um, you'd probably be better off instead of using bash or using bash with a combination of uh, awk or even sed. Those are... Uh, Awk is like a whole programming language in itself for doing stuff similar to this. The problem is my knowledge on Awk is very limited at this time. People have asked me to learn more so I can do some more tutorials on it. And I hope to in the future, but there's a lot of things I want to learn so I can do tutorials on them. Um, so I'm just showing you one way that I know of doing it. If you know a better way of doing it, especially if you know how to do it with Awk or Sed, uh, go ahead and uh, post comments below. I'm always happy to see new ways of doing stuff and if I like your way of doing it and I have a chance I'll make a video on that so I hope this helped it solved one of the two problems he brought up and the other one I mentioned you know ways to fix that but I haven't shown you how to do it yet once again it's a few more steps than what we're working in this video today so fresher or Fraser or however you say your screen name I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video hope everyone enjoyed this video but I hope that helps you sum up with your project that you're working on there. So uh, have a great day and visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com. Both uh, links are in the description of this video. Have a great day.